There you have it. Um, Donald Trump has been found guilty on all counts. On all counts, right? I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't believe in a million years that they would convict him, you know? But I'm happy for this particular reason here is the Justice Department has been losing for a very long time, especially as it applies to race and skin and, and the color of skin and African-Americans and Caucasians. You know, the Justice Department has really failed us tremendously. So here's the first time in a very long time, you know, like white boys are still winning as it relates to the score of going to jail. And he still may not go to jail. He still may only get probation, right? But if I had been convicted of all of those crimes, there wouldn't have been a July 11 sentencing. I would have stood up. A bailiff, the bailiff, shepherd, deputy would have grabbed me and walked my black ass right in the back into the jail. So there's still a lot of, you know, he's still getting a lot of favorable treatment here. He's still a lot of favoritism because he's rich and he's all it is. You know, there's no such thing as all of us are treated the same, you know. Now, but that's not the point of this video. You guys are, are fully aware that we're not the same and we're not treated the same. And only people who will deny that are the people who know that they have an advantage because they were born peach color. Here's the issue that gets me right here. Watch out for the white Christians. Because this is the part where white Christians really act out their true nature. They are extremely violent and they're deadly and they feel entitled to take your life. Okay. African-Americans kill for personal reasons. White Christians feel because they kill because they feel justified. You know, it's just like you get into an argument with, with your girl over something and she she throws all your stuff out the house. <laughs> throw all your clothes, all your shit, throw all of it out the house. You know, get a tire on and bust out all of your windows in your car. That's an act of feeling justified because I'm so angry I'll just destroy all your material things. I'll stop sh short of killing you. But everything that I do above that, I can do it. And I'm justified in doing it. And social media taught me how to act. Right. It's a little bit different, you know, when it comes to these white Christians. But similar. They will kill you. Monitor your surroundings. Be on guard at all time. If you go to Walmart bring your gun do not this is not a time to leave your weapons stay armed stay on the lookout and don't be so trusting of caucasians okay this is i told you i shot four videos ago i said this is the most dangerous time of the year for african american and and that was in the context of white cops okay Watch out. Don't be so trusting of white cops. I believe that a lot of the people that disappear, disappear because of white cops. OK, I charge them with the majority of the, of the, the of disappearance of African-Americans that we can't find. There's African-Americans we cannot find right now. On the other end of those abductions are white Christians. Stay on the lookout, guys. This is an extremely dangerous time. These people are dangerous and they became even more dangerous just now. See, you have been taught, you have allowed white people, Caucasians, the peach colored people to provide you with statistics. And you have believed their statistics. You never question it. It's the same way that we're putting out these COVID statistics, talking about black people are more likely to die you know, of COVID. And I'm like, well, well, if this is a pandemic, you know, I was the first person to challenge that. I challenged it on national, on an, on news nationally. I said, if this is a pandemic that is sweeping the country, so you're telling me the pandemic is racist 
And, and you know, and everyone was like, well, no, African Americans have pre existing conditions. I said, these fat white people in Shell Met got pre existing conditions too. So they, the, the, the pandemic is not going to kill them because of their pre existing obesity and high blood pressure and diabetes. It's only going to kill the African American ones. And we allowed them to tell us that. But we didn't even challenge these stats. Never trust statistics coming from Caucasians. There's always something evil behind their stats. And I'm telling you, all it is to say they have painted us as the most violent people there is. But when you look at quantitative data, not opinionated data, qualitative, quantitative, which means a bullet going into a body. They kill more people. They murder more people. White men kill more white women than anybody else on a planet. Africa, you know who you know who never kills a white woman? If you want to go by statistics, African American men. A white woman can stand in the midst of 200 African American men and we will not touch her. Because why? We know that if we touch that white girl, when we die, we still going to have 80 more years of jail to do. They, when we get to heaven, we're going to be in jail in heaven. The, the sentence is going to continue wherever we go. That's how this Justice Department has failed us. It has allowed the most dangerous person amongst our communities, amongst our culture, to roam free and kill and murder while African-American men, which are the most accountable men in this country, have they've, we've allowed them to, you know, ethnic, to use ethnic cleansing to cleanse us out of our own communities. Stay on guard. You know, you know what Trump is to white people. He is their Jesus Christ. So they have, in fact, sent the white Jesus of the races as white people to jail. Be on guard. Do not go anywhere without your gun. If you don't have a gun, this is an opportunity to get one. Go learn how to shoot it and keep it on you. Why do you need to keep it on you? Because the white Christians will kill you. Don't make me pull up the stats. Don't make me pull up the data. Don't make me don't make don't 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 make me do that. Don't make me do that for something that you can simply Google. Go to the FBI crime statistics and it breaks down demographics by race. But this white boy right here, I told you in 2015, this white boy right here will be the destruction of this country. He will rip us apart up directly up the middle. Right now, this is we we went from Obama in which the, uh, the majority of the white people in the country voted for President Obama. Then came Trump and that Tea Party and calling him all kind of monkeys. And, you know, white Christians are gullible. You know, they they have no such thing as critical thinking. They have no such. They just go along with the masses. That's what authoritarianism is. They, they have the inability to think for themselves. So they easily get pulled in. They, they think something is wrong. If the group thinks one thing and they're standing there by themselves and they don't they don't agree with it, they will very easily assimilate into any pack or group, even if it's evil. Be on guard, protect your family, protect your children. These white kids grow up in a house with the racist ass parents and these guns that are sitting on the kitchen table next to the Rice Krispies. They pick up those guns and they bring them to the school and they go right for your black child. Make sure you are on guard. If your kid don't have to be around white children at this time, keep them home. Uh, you have to d desperate times require desperate measure. You we have to segregate ourselves right now out of safety from white Christians. You don't have to listen to me. But failure to listen to me will result in your ass sitting on the first pew of a funeral staring at 
one of your family members, they murdered and they won't do a day in jail for killing your black ass.